Hello and welcome back to this course on Unity Catalog. In this video, we will see how to change the Manage Table default location in Unity Catalog. So first, go to the workspace and create a new notebook. So we have already created one directory for our work and then go ahead and create a new notebook application. And you can change this uh, notebook name. Again, it's optional and up to you. So I'm changing it to Manage Table Demo 2. And the first thing I'm going to do is like uh, listing the catalogs. You can use this Show Catalog commands and uh, make sure you are attached to a working cluster and which is up and running. So in this cluster is down, so we have to start it. Again, it take another five or six minutes, five to ten minutes to start this. Once this is started, you can attach that cluster to this notebook. And execute this show catalog commands uh, will list uh, the existing catalog in your uh, workspace. Okay. And the next is we are going to create a new catalog using the statement create catalog, whatever the catalog name. And uh, we are adding a new property called manage location. So this will add a new property. So for this uh, catalog and we are just uh, defining a new location. And uh, for that, uh, go to the external data and external location. So we are already created some external location some time back. We can choose that. OK, so this is something like a different uh, storage account and container. And uh, we choose that directory or the container path for our this uh, catalog. OK, so while creating the catalog, you can use this manage location option to create a new cat. Uh, I mean, the new location for this catalog. Uh, so this is something we created with a custom uh, location for this catalog. So by default, uh, it will be the Unity Catalogs storage. So we can uh, use uh, the properties or if you want to list like you can use the describe catalog extended, then uh, whatever the catalog name you can use, it will list that catalog properties here. The same you can get from the storage, exp um, I mean, uh, the catalog explorer also so go to there and uh, go to the catalog menu just refresh this and uh, you will get that catalog so this is kickstart catalog 2 and uh, go to the details where you can see the properties like storage root and storage location so this is the new location we added to that uh, uh, catalog creation time and uh, if you go to that uh, container location so this is the new container and uh, my demo 02 and uh, inside that uh, the some few files which i created some time back okay so we are going to select this catalog and create the schema inside that you can just use this use catalog and then whatever the catalog name for selecting that catalog so once this is selected you can do create schema statement for creating your new schema. So you can choose the create schema if not exist. So whatever the schema name. So kickstart schema 2 and then execute this one. So this will create a new schema kickstart schema 2. Then we are going to create a table inside this schema. Okay, so for that you have to select the schema, kickstart schema, select that and uh, do uh, create table. So just uh, use this create table. So maybe we will do this step by step. So first uh, let's uh, create this uh, table and then uh, we will insert and we'll see the difference in the back end. So first uh, create this table. The table is created and if you go and refresh in the back end you can see there is a directory called underscore unity storage underscore catalog there will be a directory for tables and the corresponding directory structure if you see you can see the delta log directory so if we go ahead and insert some values here so there will be a parquet file created in the back end the same directory so we just uh, inserted some values here 
okay so uh, you can see the table here inside this uh, kickstart catalog 2 also go to that uh, schema and inside that schema you can see our table and uh, you can see some details okay so this is the storage location so that is the location that we define at the catalog level and uh, if you refresh here you can see that parquet file okay so uh, let's go ahead and create uh, one more uh, container and we will use that for another schema okay maybe it's uh, my demo 02 and uh, this one we for to access this you need to create an external location okay so external uh, location similar to this uh, we have to create for my demo 02 as well so for that the first thing is uh, you have to check the credential okay the credential is something like a uh, access connector so which we already created and assign the permission uh, on this uh, storage account so we don't need to create a new external uh, sorry new storage credential so we can use the same storage credential for the other container also so make sure you have assigned the proper permission and uh, i'm going to create a, a new external location that uh, you can give some name so maybe here i'm using that uh, container name then followed by some external uh, loc or whatever the name you feel and the, you can use the same credential and uh, this url you can get it from the uh, adls okay so abfss then what is the container name at the rate container name at the rate that dfs endpoint so this dfs endpoint we can get from the storage account so come down a little bit and there is something called endpoints where you can go to this data lake storage part and uh, the data lake endpoint you can choose and paste it here and then create so this will create a new um, external location and make sure you have added the proper or granted proper privileges to the user so i am adding all privileges to myself so i don't need to do it actually because i am the person who created this uh, external location so definitely i have the permission but i just wanted to show you how to do it for other users or groups okay so we can use this my demo 02 for our new uh, schema okay so we are just trying to override uh, at the schema level so first uh, we'll just uh, ensure like we are able to use uh, this storage account by using db utils command and uh, see this how this works like any uh, connectivity issues nothing okay this is able to fetch that but let's just try to upload some file into that container okay so go to the containers then uh, my demo 02 and uh, just upload some sample files and uh, we need to ensure like uh, we can select that uh, uh, or we can just list that file just upload it and uh, you can see my demo 02 and uh, execute this one so this should list that file okay that is perfectly okay so we are able to read that okay so it should be okay in that other ways you have to troubleshoot at the storage uh, credential and uh, external location so we are using the same catalog that we have created with managed location and we are trying to override whatever the external location that we defined for this uh, catalog so we are defining the location at the schema level okay so we are going inside and uh, creating the schema the create schema if not exist then whatever the schema that we are going to use two is already there so we can use the schema three and uh, here also we are using the manage location and uh, we will use this manage location as uh, the my demo zero two okay then uh, that's it execute okay uh, sorry it's a managed location not a single word so you should need to have a space in between then execute this uh, create schema statement 
and uh, you can see this kickstart schema is created with the different uh, managed location so you can go to the schema then refresh okay so if you go to that kickstart catalog and uh, you can see a new schema created like uh, so kickstart catalog has the uh, storage location as my demo 01 but uh, if you look to this schema that where we have override that property it's for my demo 02 not 01 okay so you can override at the schema level also but this is the schema 2 is something like uh, so we have not added any location properties but the schema 3 yes we have override or we have added this location now let's uh, select the schema and then create some table inside that so what you can use is like uh, use uh, this schema okay whatever the schema name and then uh, to execute that commands to create the table and insert some values you can just use uh, this statement like uh, the create table whatever that uh, i'm just copying pasting that and uh, see that uh, the new container is empty then make sure okay then execute this so this will create a new table and insert some value then uh, we can validate this going back to the container and here we have a new directory created okay so the same way that we have uh, seen in the earlier uh, demo so this way uh, you can override the unity catalogs the default uh, location for managed table so either if you are not defining it will use the default unity catalog location if you define at the catalog level it will use then if you define at the schema level it will override this the one which you define at the schema level has the highest priority then at the catalog level if both are not there it will use the unity catalog default ADLS location. So that's it about this demo. Thank you for watching this. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.